Today is Saturday, the 1st of February, and we're fishing Gorham Beach. What's going on people? Just down Goring Beach today. It's blowing between 20 and 30 mile per hour. Winds southwesterly. Down Goring, I found a little big Goring here to hide behind. Haven't fished this spot for years and years. Didn't get a chance to go down either and see the ground I'm fishing on. Got a feeling it might be quite rocky. So I've decided to go for big frozen baits on both my hooks here. Um, one of them is a pulley rig, I haven't set it up yet, but I've got it out ready. The other one I'm not too sure what I'm using yet. Just going to be using mackerel and squid. Just got to keep out, uh, keep an eye on it for this little groin here. I'm not too sure how far that runs out. But just over the other side here, the water literally just starts here. And you look over here, how far further up the beach it goes. So you get a bit of a cross current here as well. So yeah, I thought I'd try some big weights. So we find a ray, conga, bass. I'm really surprised I blank, but you can only try, can't you? I'll come back once I'm set up. Okay guys, on my right hand rod there, I'm gonna use a pulley panel for a squid. And my left hand rod, I'm gonna use this rig. I tied up. A couple of years ago, I don't think I've ever used it. I'm not sure what type of rig it is. I think I was messing around trying to do stuff without swivels and things. It's like a one up, one down rig. One's got a tail section of a mackerel, and the top hook's got another bit of chunk of mackerel, but I've sort of reversed it inside out so the flesh is showing. So I thought I'd try one with the skin side out and one flesh side out. Um, I think that's a 4 way hook and that's a 5 way on the bottom hook there. Yeah, I'm just going to chuck it out down that groin there. Hopefully you guys can hear me alright. Proper windy. I have got my mic on, but I think you'll still hear the wind. Just give you an indication how it's looking whilst it's all clipped up. It's not one for casting, for far, but like I said, I'm going to sort of hammer it out down this side here. Okay, second rods. I've got a clip down pulley there with a whole squid on there. That squid's been in that freezer a few times, so it's got a bit of colour to it. The sea has got some awesome surf. Really blown hard. Hopefully you can hear it right. I've got to cast that one out as close to this pipe, just down here as I can. But it's a bit difficult when the southwesterly wind's coming in from this direction. So I'm going to have to cast a bit westerly and hope the wind brings it around a bit. Yeah, I think butt detection might be a bit of an issue today. My rods are shaking around like crazy. But as I'm fishing big baits, hopefully you'll definitely see a big bite. But yeah, it's really, really surfy. The wind's definitely stronger than its forecast. You can see all the kite surfers miles out from a distance over there. So it's a sign how windy it is. But hopefully we'll find some fish today. Just sitting here thinking, what on earth is that smell? I'm putting dogfish. Someone's cut the head off it. Don't know why people, I know dogfish can be annoying, but I don't know why people chuck the blooming, kill them and chop their heads off and stuff. There's no way else when washed up past the shoreline. Bit of ground bait, you know.
still no bites yet guys. Still hard to tell to get any bites to be honest. Got have to move my gear up in a second up this mount. Getting a few close waves coming in now. Um, high tide still not for about an hour and a half. Still, still plenty of time to find a fish. But I think I'm just going to have to move up past this little mound bit here. Okay, I've just taken in my orange tip rod there. Had the whole squid on. All twisted up, hook's been pulled free. Don't know that anything's had a go on it. I don't know that it's just a current or maybe a needle's grabbed hold of it. Who knows? It's all tangled up everywhere. But I'm going to rehook this bait back up and chuck it out again. The surf's coming up quite far now. Okay, that was bait checks done, both rods there. So, right, uh, left hand rod there catching a wave. Um, yeah, baits are intact. The right hand rod there for the squid. Then I had something under no nibble on that, the hook's been pulled through. But, yeah, no bites. Tide's come up quite far now. But we're going to carry on fishing, and now it's a high tide. It's weird, I can feel the energy of the sea going up this pipe here, going all underneath where I'm sitting. When you get a wave, hit it. You sort of feel the vibration under your feet. No bites yet, but I'm not expecting many bites, especially with big baits. It's always a waiting game. I will be surprised I blanked, but it's such a lovely day. We've got the sun over here. This is how high the groin is up next to me. And the water starts mm, about five, six metres further down than this beach. So that's why you get a bit of a cross current there at the end of the groin. Let's see this. It's about four or five foot higher this side. It drops right down this side. But that's why I can shout out nicely behind. A little wind down there. Been about half an hour to high tide now. So I hold out. And put a fish about an hour down as well to see if there's anything about. Just did another bait check. I have my first big bit of weeds coming on the line on my left hand rod. Did think it was fish at one point, it was that heavy and stuff, but yeah, it was a big chunk of weed. And I've got another bit of weeds come up the line on my right hand rod. Baits are still intact, haven't been touched. And yeah, the wind's dropped off a bit. Let's see, it's still loads of energy in that sea. About 15 minutes high tide, uh, but I'll carry on fishing for another hour or so. Just wondering what all these girls are sort of interested in in the going next to me. I don't know, they're just struggling in the wind, but they've been hovering around there for the last few minutes. Keep them diving down, picking fins off the surface. Around. Let's see. see if we can get a bit closer maybe. Going a bit deeper now. Strange, it's like they're trying to pick something off the surface. Got any ideas? Comment down below. Still no more bites guys. It's about 40 minutes after high tide now. The sun is starting to go down.
Looks like Wervin had a bit of a rain shower a minute ago. Couldn't even see the pier, so I'm guessing it was raining. It was like cloudy and hazy and misty or whatever you want to call it down that way. Okay, and bits of weeds coming up the line again. So every now and again it gets pinned down a bit, but I haven't managed to shake those ones free, they're well and truly on there. But I think it might be another blank today. But I was half expecting it anyway. I'll go on fishing for another 20 minutes or so and see if we can find one fish before we go. Okay, it's come up to an hour past high tide now. Okay, I'm going to call it a day. I've got a feeling there's going to be a lot of weed on the line. Just It's given that sort of movement and the way it's been pinning down. I've got a feeling there's big chunks of it. Looks like it could be a fairly decent sunset as well. Another five, ten minutes and it'll be set. But I'm going to take it down because I haven't got a head torch with me. So let's see the damage. So it's a blank for me. Big tangle. Squid's gone up the line there. The other one, bait's only been touched. But it was nice to get out. Let's show the sun there, just about going down there. I think I'm going to have to come back here again though. Um, it's February after all, probably one of the worst months to fish. But we get lots of rock pools all around this area. And not many people really fish over the rock pools because it's quite snaggy. So I might make some eco um, weights up, that cement and some yoghurt pots or something. Make some weak links from the line and um, yeah, fish some rough ground and see what we can find over the next couple of months. But I think there could be some big species around here. So I'll be back in here again soon hopefully. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching guys.